Hi, I'm Shane from Admin Arsenal. Let's talk a little bit about run as in PDQ Deploy and to show you some examples of when you should change this default setting. By the way, you can uh, set the default here in preferences. Under the credentials pane, you see the run packages as. You have four options. We highly, highly recommend that you set this default to deploy user. But you also have deploy user interactive, you have the local system, and you have logged on user. Um, once again, at this level, highly recommended that you have deploy user. Deploy user has to be uh, has to have administrative rights on those target machines anyway. But it, there are times where you'll need to change at a package level or an individual step in a package the run as. We'll show you an example. Here's Dropbox. Now Dropbox, starting with version 3.8, um, we'll install per machine. We love this. We're going to run step one. This Dropbox installation, you can see that. There's the EXE, that's the parameter to make it silent. And in the Options tab, you see Run As Deploy User. So we want to keep that as Deploy User. However, um, we're going to run step two or three, depending on whether it's a 32 or 64 bit machine, as the logged on user, because we're going to actually start Dropbox. And Dropbox needs to be run um, as whatever user's logged on. So here's an example of that. We're going to deploy Dropbox to a machine called Carla. And of course, if I spell Carla correctly, good things will happen. Um, deploy users, the default there. So I'm going to open up a remote desktop session to Carla. And you're going to see Dropbox is being run as Quintana. Quintana is the deploy user. That's the user that is actually running the deployment right now. So you can see that username is Quintana. It's quiet. The user doesn't see what's going on. You're only seeing this because I've got the Windows Task Manager open. However, once this is finished, you can see we're moving over here to these other steps. You're going to see Dropbox start up as the user Reg. There it is right there. That's important because Dropbox runs per user. It installs per machine, but it runs per user. And now, uh, Dropbox is running. So that's an example of when you would want to use logged on user. Now, logged on user will attempt to run something as that user. If, if it requires administrative rights and that user doesn't have it, you could run into a problem. So I'm going to show you another example uh, running to Carla. Let's look at something like PDF Creator. Now, PDF Creator, by default, yeah, we run this as deploy user. But let's say for some reason you wanted to show the the installation process to the user. That's where you'd want to do something like um, run as deploy user interactive because it means you're still running as an administrative account, but if something needs to be shown, it can be shown. So the very silent parameter for uh, PDF creator, if you change that to silent, then that intends to actually show the user the status of the installation without having them have to make any decisions. I'm going to remove SP as well. I'm just doing this as an example. So step two, we're going to change this to run as a logged on user because this requires administrative rights. If you did this as logged on user right now to Carla, here's what that user would see. It's going to kick off. And once it gets to step two, running as logged on user, well, the user's not logged on as an administrator. The user doesn't have administrative rights. So it's going to ask the user to enter admin rights. We don't want that. I mean, that's the whole point here. They don't have administrative rights. So we're going to change PDF creator to uh, run as deploy user interactive. Now, once again, I'm just trying to illustrate. For the most part, you'd run this program as deploy user. But to illustrate what happens now, I'm going to redeploy to Carla. And when we see this kick, when we see this kick kick on, um, it's going to run as Quintana, which is the deploy user. But because we've set this to run as as interactive, it should show the status. And there you can see the status as it's running. So the deploy user interactive just gives it access to the desktop, but still in an administrative um, context. And then the last one is, is local system. Local system means there there are time. Lotus Notes is an example. There are very rare 
but there are some examples where you uh, will have a, a package or a step that needs to run as the local system account. Um, just so you know, if you run a step as local system, that step will not have access to network resources. So if it's trying to access a, a file share somewhere, um, it's going to fail. All right. I hope that clears up any, uh, any questions. We'll talk to you later.